Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jeremy Powers. Thanks for coming by for the first episode of Behind the Barriers. Say hello to the world of Behind the Barriers. Yeah. Yeah. You want to say goodbye to the folks from Behind the Barriers? This is the last episode, man. Is it really? Yeah. What do you mean it's the last episode? The first episode of Behind the Barriers, season two. <laughs> but the first race of the season seems like it has so much anger, so much. <laughs> oh, this is the ocean. Yeah, we're coming out to see you right now, man. We had an awesome time bringing you into our lives for a little bit, and that's all I gotta say. You guys want to say goodbye? Okay, you want to say goodbye? Or well, it's kind of hello. This is the beginning of the episode. You want to say goodbye? Do it. Say goodbye. All right, give me five then. Give me five. All right, all right, good work, good work, good work, good work. We gotta show off a little bit. Okay, peace. So we just finished up the first day of Ruts and Guts here in Tulsa. It was, uh, it was interesting. Uh, started out, second row, kind of put us on the back foot. I'd say we were 10th, 12th. Eventually found myself in the front of the chase group. I don't know, there had to have been four or five of us. Jason Dillman, uh, Curtis White, Gage Hecht, and Anthony Clark. What up, Tuan? I finally got there. Hecht was gone. As soon as he heard Dillman drop his chain, it was it was kind of over for Hecht. He, he got away, got <clears throat> probably 10 seconds. And uh, and then, yeah, it was just Curtis and I. Anthony dropped off with like maybe two to go. Not by much. I was really pumped for Anthony. He had such a good ride today. And he's such a, he's my training partner, so. Yeah, one na 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 to the Tuan. Me and Curtis dramatically went into the finish with some, uh, with the logs. It was wild. It was a, I was expecting him to attack, but not there. And uh, yeah, it was a good battle to, this, to the line. I, he got me by a millimeter or two. It wasn't much, it was just a little throw. But uh, I ended up third. But that definitely completes the, you know, what I would consider the full comeback to 100% strength, regardless of how Nationals goes. It's uh, so good to be able to be coming back from it's just being lapped being last, being 35th, having back injury, all that stuff, it just feels very, uh, yeah, it's huge. Huge to be able to come back and be on the podium today. I'm a little bit speechless, to be honest. Second question was, why do you wear your hat so high on your head? Almost not as though true. It is. That's that wasn't what the question. Three of them, <laughs> three of them had the same question. It is true. And they're upset because they keep wearing their hats like you, and they lose them when it's on windy days. But with the bike, you get to choose to go out and ride, and so it, it has to be fun. Call your friends up, put the fishing gear in the backpack, or bring a snack and go for a. A camping trip or do something, but have fun with whatever it is. It doesn't all have to be training, it's serious. You guys are all young, you don't need a coach and all that craziness. Just go out there, have fun, enjoy time on the bike with your friends, and uh, and make sure that, uh, yeah, that you're enjoying yourself. All right, you get the pizza? Yes. This guy, this guy, good? This guy, you guys gotta watch out for this one. Are you serious? At my camp that I did in North Carolina, Absolutely. he comes out of the woods with like a bow congerted <laughs> around his neck <laughs> and tries to throw it at him. You risk it tomorrow. You ready? I need to be signing. Oh my I'm talking. No telling. Right, this is yours? No. Thank you. It's going to be on behind the barriers. Huh? It's behind the barriers. It's up behind the barriers. Let's go! Nice. Your cameo, it's right behind you. We're going 
You can tell the people what you want to tell them. You can just start talking. Hyde's just doing what Hyde does. He's over there. Just tell them. Tell them, Hyde. Tell them what they need to hear. What? No, tell them what they need to hear. Who needs to hear what? Why do they need to hear anything? <laughs> I just, he's, just, he's just directing the kids. I think it's made me laugh. Him with the directives. Okay, okay, we're gonna go from this end to this end. Okay, everybody in line. Let's go. <laughs> Is this your first pizza party? No. No. All right, good. That's it. It's over. Oh. Yes, I can. You told me to start. You said her name's Abby, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. I remember her. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Oh, so oh, 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 so oh, 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 my God. Awesome. <laughs> In the we had more. We had more. We had, yeah, we had more almond milk. Okay. In the van. Sorry. Leading us to the course. Oh, got it. We're going to follow that bunny. Right into there. Yeah. We're going to get over to the course here. Uh, we're only six minutes late, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, we're going to get over to the course and then. Uh, I'm gonna do a little workout, kind of get set up and take a look at the conditions, figure out exactly what tire is gonna be the right one to use, and um, just see the conditions now that they're at their worst. I think it will be, I think it will either, it 100% it will change before tomorrow, but that's always the case with nationals, it just continues to evolve. Nationals just kind of brings a different vibe to it all together. I mean, I think that there's so many people that are here to, um, there, there's just so much, it, there's, it's just that the, there's a title on the line, you know, so I think there's a lot more preparation. Um, I think people get here a week in advance, you know, they start to really put a lot of energy and, and um, they devote a lot of time to, to being able to um, have the best day possible. So create, a, create something that allows you to have your best result and that's from the staff to, you know, all the way down to the nitty gritty, whether it's massage or housing or food or whatever. How did you do? Pretty good. I mean, he got through it. I mean, I don't know if I could have gotten through it. The first time you won a national championship. <clears throat> yep. What was the feeling after? Well, the first one that I won was in Wisconsin, 2000. Uh, it was actually the 2011 season, but it, it was a, it was a, it was in um, January, so it was actually 2012. But he um, yeah, had just elated. <laughs> you know, I had never won the national championship. I had come close. 2010, I was very, very, very close. 2009, I was really good, but I, yeah, had a bike problem and my my bike like disintegrated. I, I don't know what happened in 2009, it didn't work. 2007, I was in a really good position. I fell and I smashed my ribs uh, on an icy course. Yeah, there were a lot of years that I thought things were gonna go different and then they didn't. Um, I was close so many times. Keep going, keep going, long race, long race. You're still in this. Keep going, keep going. You're just getting through to see what you can see from it and make these conditions, as these conditions change, you're just gonna have to. But it's all about going really, really low on the pressure, like lower than you think is possible because there's nothing to flat on, but there's also nothing to grip really. No, I don't. I think this is what we're going to be seeing. Thank you. I'll meet you guys back there. Well, here, buddy. I'm still going to. Yeah. One, two. Okay. You did it. You got yourself. Dude, I got so muddy. I already cleaned my stuff up. Inception! Camera! Camera! You know, that's you, what you're gonna do. You're gonna send the downhills, and you're gonna run the uphills. Did then you, you're gonna send the downhills. Did you go up there? Yeah, did I did. Go out there? I did two laps. Yeah, yeah, with all mud gear on. So that's why I look clean. Yeah, I don't know that there's much to see. You just you gotta be agile. You just gotta be like a you gotta dude, be like a dude. fox in the forest. Dude. All right, all right, put it on the ground. No, 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 no. Put it on the ground. Thank you. 
maybe outside of like having my son and getting married, there's very few things that rank up there with that first title for me. It's just, it was a huge um, body of work that I had put together up to that point, results, and my entire life was dedicated to winning that championship. That's all I wrote. I love that there are people here that are working, you know, we're working as a team to try to come together for a goal. I mean, a lot of these people have helped me throughout my career. So, you know, my family obviously being here is awesome. I love having them anytime they want to come to a race or see me race. Tom and uh, Nate are my mechanics and they've been, Tom's been with it with me for, I think this is going to be, uh, well, it'd be 2011. So since 2011. And uh, Nate has been helping me at my house and now this year on the road for, I don't know, the last three years at least. And um, my wife is here too. Hi, right. everyone. Good night. Have Thanks. Good night Thanks for coming. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Reveals the show stars, Jonathan and Andrew Scott, work with their show's producer and director to recreate drama. Oh, I'm only five minutes. Yesterday I was seven. I'm only 9.35. Yesterday I was seven minutes late. Today I'm five. True. Yeah, I know we are, but I knew I'd be a couple minutes late, but only five minutes late. Oh, yeah, five isn't bad. Five's no, not bad. That's, that's yeah, yeah. essentially early. That's it, does, it doesn't matter. You, just, you get off here and you start running. Pre-ride inspection. We can't get on until 12, but if I could do a little recon now. And number 118, Taylor Johnson from Boulder Junior Cycling coming through. This is this is one of those ones that I, I don't I don't know what the outcome will be. I'm not as confident. Can I do it? Can I do it? It's my year, it's your year. I know that everyone is here to either support or to make sure that I'm supported. And so that's beautiful. This year, there's a lot more unknowns. It hasn't been as steady of a run. I don't feel like I have anything to prove to anyone, but I want to prove it to myself. boards and off and rolling we are we said any time in the next 30 seconds Curtis White is gonna hit out quick
Come on, Jay. Get it, Jay. Get it. I hurt. <laughs> good, good. Well done, man. That was Thank fun you. to watch. Again. Thank you. Yeah, the race was uh, the race was good. It was very, very much a surprise. My back and my body was screaming at me, but it worked, and I pushed the crap out of it in a way that I haven't really done that before. Backing up, I guess it was. It just it challenged you. And it was the kind of mud that like it got so sticky and it got stuck in your wheels and you had to pit every half lap. Um, there was no time to rest. When you were resting, you were going down a hill and your wheels were catching like tons of mud and all of that. I rode all the grass sections that I could. I cut crisscross the course. I, uh, I, you know, sped up on the sections that I could. I just, I really carried my, my momentum in every way that I could. And I watched other people that were gapping me and what their lines were. And then I gained, you know, stuff from them. I put together the sections that I could. I rode very, very uh, confident in the sections that I knew I, could, I could, could do well. And I made something from it. I got fifth. You know, I beat some of the guys that I go against head to head at the pointy end of the races, week in and week out. And uh, yeah, I just, I kind of, I put, I, I put the positivity forward and I tried to come out of it with something that I was happy with and I am happy with fifth. It's not, it's not a win. It's something that I'll, you know, it's not like last year where it was very, very close. When I, I prepared for this race, I prepared by not doing a lot. <laughs> I did my openers on uh, an, an untraditional way on Friday and then I rested on Saturday because I wanted to, I didn't need to be open I needed to be rested to do battle like I did today. It wasn't a traditional race where I would want my legs to be opened up and like really firing to be able to do a lot of snap and to do like threshold level efforts. Today was a completely different thing, which was that I needed to get off and run and I needed to have like more of a warrior mentality and, you know, kind of bring my best mental game. So I focused more on uh, positivity and dealing with like all of the hardship that comes with just fighting the track. You know what I mean? Not even the riders. Like, yeah, I fought Kerry in the last laps, but I was fighting with the course the whole time. You know, like, I hate you. You're terrible, but you're good, Powers. Like, you're good. 
you know, we've been through this before. You know, my words from Jeremy always were, when it was easy, you'd never want to keep going. So we just make sure we keep on going. One, one foot in front of the other, one pedal, a bit of metal, and in between there's heartache, heartbreak. In the end, sometimes you win and sometimes you just please. That's what he did, he pleased. He put in a heck of a ride though. He never stopped pushing. What's, what's future Jeremy looking like? I have no idea. I have no idea. We'll see what doors open and where this thing takes me. I am racing some gravel races this spring and summer and um, whether I transition from here to another thing or I stay you know, fully as a racer in the sport, I, I just don't know. I also want to be good at something else in my life. It's not just bike racing. I, I love bike racing and I love teaching and giving and I feel like I've done that in so many different ways and I've checked a lot of those boxes and I want to challenge myself to something else. And uh, this year's challenge was get back to being healthy and get back to being strong. And, um, and try to you know try to win some races or try to be on the podium, um, try to create good videos, try to inspire some people to come back out and take a look at cyclocross. That's uh, you know I keep reinventing <laughs> what I want to do, but I know that I need to. Um, I know that this will end, and I want to stop my racing before I get to a place where I feel like there's uh, my time has passed. You know, and I like I really enjoy racing at the front end of the races, but I don't ever want to not enjoy the journey that I'm on and so for me now it's about what is next and uh, I don't know but I'm not here to say I'm retiring that's not that's not really what I'm doing I think I'm just saying that there's going to be a there's going to be a another chapter that's going to be different than the one that I'm in now for sure.